Hello everyone, welcome back to Fallout 4. I'm your host Final Dream, and hopefully today we will be taking out Kellogg. Alright, um, so with this, it's again post-commentary, which I'm sorry about. I can't actually tell if it's better, cause since I just posted up my first uh, post-commentary for this. But yeah, I am um, also have had uh, trouble with my uh, external hard drive, so it seems like I know where I'm going with this, um, it's because I had done this once before, so, yeah, just seeing what that guy has, um, yes, I've just gotten a new mouse, so if it seems a little fidgety, that's going to be why I'm still getting used to it, um, let's see what we find up here, I uh, don't need the Boston paper from 200 years ago, let's see, Get some awesome med X, some money. How do you lose a bug? They're big and annoying. They're like really big and annoying. Come on, Valentine. Got a searchlight going on. Ooh, found a duffel bag. Nice. A fragment mine, which I still gotta use a bit. <laughs> yeah, I am excellent with shooting with the shotgun, apparently. I do like how it just takes them out in one shot. Alright, see that I got 0% chance, it's like what's even the point at hit here? Don't need to go downstairs, but it's just there. I'll go upstairs in just a second. Get some glowing fungus, because who doesn't need glowing fungus? Thought I was going to fall down there. And... <laughs> couldn't walk through, so... Oh, and I fell down right back to the reception area. Takes me moment to see that I made a mistake there and then right here I noticed there's a computer right here that I'm pretty sure I can't unlock advanced ones yet so I think Valentine can so I look for I know I can't find him at the moment go upstairs and see what they have to offer here got another fragment mine would prefer a grenade some more shotgun shells and oh did I just seriously miss that box of shotgun shells right there oh my god what is wrong with me I pick up the actual shotgun shell but not the actual ammo <laughs> and then right here I, I see a power suit armor or a power armor suit which is like oh my god I missed that the first time too how did I miss that Right here, I uh, realize I keep forgetting to reset my um, favorite list because I want the explosive shotgun at three. And then I accidentally fall down here, which is actually where I intended to go. Was intending to go in the first place. Thought I heard something to my left there. Then. What's what's that sound? Demon monkey. That is a demon monkey. It scared me there. And then the only way to solve a demon monkey problem. And a key right there. Awesome. How did you get down there, Valentine? I I still don't know. See, I, I picked the fragmentation mine because I thought it was uh, grenades, but I was mistaken. And I just threw a Molotov right in there just to take out one of them. But they still got that flying blood sucker over there. What I really need to do is get a... Um, a mod that modifies my HUD so the different things are the HUD's a bit smaller like the hidden thing could just like put it down a little bit or shrink it and here's where I see my first um I didn't realize this was here the first time the short syringe rifle Alright, and I missed this first tidbit of information where you can craft the syringe ammo at the chemistry station. Get overburdened yet again, so I have to 
unload some more stuff on to Valentine here. Of course, I'm keeping the short syringe rifle. It's only right. Let's see what it looks like right here. Press R to see how you actually load it. I keep hearing the bug and wondering where is it? And then here is just blood pack heaven. I think I ended up with like 37 of them. Well, not from this one room, but total. Now, most of them are from this said room. I know, right? <laughs> I got overburdened again. And then we got some more chems here. Yes. Alright, I think we got everything from here now, so we can head on out. And you can still hear the bug in the background there, and I'm still wondering, where is it? Alright, so now we're going upstairs to get that terminal unlocked. Let's see, and I'm looking for the blood bug. Where is it? Where is it? I know I can hear it. Oh, there it is. And thought I could hit its leg there, but there we go. And I'm like, God damn it, where's Valentine? He always takes forever to find me. Or just falls behind. But of course that's just any companion. You guys know what I mean? looking around from there he is and then I just activate the command thing just to make sure I don't lose him again try to get the terminal from there but there we go all right do your thing Valentine No? Did he? Nope. Come on, Valentine, you can do it. Sure, that was gonna do it. Oh, come on. There we go, my man, Valentine. And then. Security door controls, and open the door. Open, Sesame. Come on. Nice. Pulling out the gun a little late there if there was anyone in here. And. Permanently inflict 2% more to body limbs. Just limbs in general. And I'm just taking a moment to register what I'm looking at there. So I'll leave the 10mm behind because I keep getting filled up on ammo. Here, I try to see if I can make any grenades, realizing what I'm missing. Mostly aluminum for the stuff I want. But here, 75 rad resistant, pretty good. But what I really want, some refreshing beverage. Now that's, that's pretty awesome there. See if I can make any mines. I decide to make some syringe ammo though. And I decided I don't really need any more wep or ammo at the moment. Find some more loots here. Let's see, where? A nice skelly there. And we head on down. Nothing else to see here. Take a sharp left and head over to that power s armor suit. Hmm. Post commentary kind of sucks for me at least. See what's going around over here. Not too much. I see this little red roach guy here. I was like, ah. Oh, I accidentally take out my shotgun. And it's like, dude, you only need a machete. And then you got that glowing guy. It's like, eh, that's that's just not right. Shoot him in the face. 
Take the duct tape. There's the power armor. I take the blood and the nuclear material after a second. There we go. Aluminum can and a bunch of wonder glue. More wonder glue, because obviously. Then I go here to enter the suit and just plug in the power. Your initially, I think, okay, let's go face Kellogg in the power armor. Making our way downtown to Kellogg and dog meat. Pull out my pistol, thinking, you know what? Yeah, no, wait, no, I want my explosive shotgun. My favorite, my current favorite weapon. Once I find an explosive pistol or something like that, it's gonna be, like, I'm gonna be like all over that. I'm wondering, where's dog meat? And he's like, oh, he's actually up there, apparently. Uh, this is the point where I'm just like, ah, uh, you know what? Don't need to wear the power suit. Really don't. It's unnecessary. Thinking, ah, uh, do I want to take out the fusion core? Nah. It's not really necessary here. And you can just see I'm just about to level up there. Is this the place? Is he in here, boy? And here, what, what was? Oh, right there, I was checking to see if I was actually recording my audio. I'm like, oh, god damn it, I did not record that, did I? God damn. And here, like, oh, I heard the, I heard the buzzer. Does that mean this light can be taken out? No? Damn. So I, I gave it a few shots, too, just to make sure I was at the right angle. I tried to be all nice and sneaky over here, but... See, this is what I mean about the reduced HUD. I feel like the hidden caution thing should be, like, up or at the top left or right or something, and just smaller. And then just switch over to my shotgun, take out that real quick. Get treated to a nice explosion. Snipe them, level up there, and then I think I do a quick level up to grab the yeah the locksmith. All right, walk around a little bit. All right, here we go. I think yep, take out two of these three turrets right here real quick then this one just requires two shots because I didn't get a chance to sneak up on it there we go see nice and easy I go around collecting all the ammo and bits and pieces from these guys now not all of them to be exact get here and then I think wait did I get that one I don't think I got that one missed the jump I mean you guys just clearly saw me get it, but I sometimes have a short attention span as I'm sure you guys have noticed before and then I was like oh oh wait oh no I got it ready ah <laughs> I missed such a short simple jump that's when I should have been shaking the oot in a boot. Oot, that, that sentence made no sense. Oh well. Alright, and yep, got that one, Kyle. You sure did. Alright. And at this point, it's going to be a shorter episode today, guys. So, at this point, I will see you all in the next episode.